que está fuera no es la única razón que existe esa situación el éxito del régimen I would say these two factors, or I break these two factors down in the social and international context. Or if you want, only using another formulation, we can say uh, the anthropologic constraint or the geostrategic constraint. Of course, the social structure of each society influences why certain sectors of the society may be resistant or even impermeable to change. Ante el cambio. It can explain why a sector of the population either does not join the movement no or does so movimiento. for its own narrow political gains, strategic uh, uh, calculations. There are tribal loyalties in the region, and you know them. Hay problemas en la región y los Libya sabemos. is an example. Yemen is an example. And their religious conflict. Yemen is, Yemen is another prime example between the Houthis and the Sunnis. It is emphasized the struggle of power between rival groups. Sunnis. As in Yemen, the tribes often have weapons, Yemen, and their alliance with the movement can change its logic, reintroducing local conflicts and, vend and vendettas. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, in the region, you have the same problem. Iraq is factionalism. Iraq that is a salient framework. The society is still la sociedad in a post-conflict, uh, post, uh, post-civil war context. And you have factions. These factions essentially control politics and cast a long shadow over uh, the que whole idea of citizenship. In Lebanon, el Libano, you have the whole problem of confessionalism. Una one is a Shia, one is a Sunni, Shia, one is a Christian, es... before being a citizen of Lebanon. The geopolitical context now is increasingly el making el, itself el felt, ahora, even if they would prefer si to avoid international entanglements and concentrate on the national context, en, protesters en and opposition movements to, are coming to understand that, like it or not, there are agents of the transformation of the region and international region, politics. This can create confusion and reluctance among these political players. Is the Libyan opposition a new tool of the West and of NATO? Is the Bahraini opposition a tool of Iran? These questions can seriously inhibit any actor on the ground. An actor on the ground does not want to see this whole context projected onto his country. In the same way, he does not want to feel as setting a, train, a chain reaction across the region. So this inhibits que inhibe these uh, 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 reactions and this military. Uh, you would tell me, well, look at Syria. Que nos diría We don't think this is an option, but believe me, Pero if this weren't a strong factor, una there would fuerte. be much, much more steam se, and much more energy mucho, in this conversation. All of this creates Todo esto crea essentially a, a situation una in which this geostrategic constraint can become a self-fulfilling este prophecy. It has a life of its own and becomes mutually reinforcing. And it creates an inevitable compli uh, complication in this situation and demands a good dose of humility. We do not know where this is going. No sabemos dónde va esto. Can we call this an Arab Spring as a whole? Pu Or is it just an Arab la primavera árabe como una esperanza? Or in terms of the specific national context, which o are very much in flux. Nacional? Bahrain is a Bahrain perfect example of this. Es un the overdetermination of a local movement de by its geopolitical local significance is a clear example here. Es un claro ejemplo aquí. The reform movement la has been interpreted in terms of a conflict between Sunnis and Shia, between Shia Iran and Saudi Arabia. And the Gulf states and the Bahraini Arabia states Saudita, have become convinced and themselves caught in También this polarizing framework. It is a paradigm that has been constructed from long similar sensitivities and doctrines and visions about the Islamic world.
and about international forces, y sobre las which fuerzas is no internacionales secret, would like to control Iran, would like to prevent it from having Irán a nuclear uh, capacity. Within this logic, Bahraini Shia appears as an Iranian fifth column, and Saudi Arabia sees itself as a, as a leader of the Sunni world, weakened and even besieged with the overthrow of Saddam regime. The economic and political weight of Saudi Arabia helps to entrench this polarizing narrative throughout the Arab world. In virtually all the Sunni Arab countries, even Tunisia and Egypt, whose revolution or transformation is more advanced, this is the case. Although it is not the case among most people on the street, this is how people look at the situation as the operation of a Shiite plot in or behind the Bahraini demonstrations. Only in Syria, which is preoccupied by its, only pro by its other problems, scant attention is given to this. While the GCC might explain its intervention in Bahrain in terms Mientras of this religious geo-strategic framework, it has also served the purpose of sending another important message. The Arab Spring must not no destabilize the countries of the Gulf, or any other monarchy, by the way. So this is a question of, es as we were using a little of the terms and terminology, from the original introduction, es la uh, solidaridad de, de sangre azul. Okay? So it's important that, that es it's important que that los rojos do not destabilize los azules. Voilà. Uh, uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, if, I understand, if I understood you correctly. So, Saudi Arabia also Arabia fears Saudi that its own Shiite minority, which feels it has been marginalized and tiene una, más, una parte that it doesn't más grande, uh, uh, see this as an opportunity in the wake como una para of uh, los the Arab Spring, en la and also Arabe, uh, uh, not create further instability no crear uh, un... inside the kingdom. The Bahraini example touches los another Bahra very Bahraini important es... point. While the United States and Europe los have y condemned in the strongest of words the Iranian crackdown on the Green Movement, and they have in fact intervened in Libya, they only condemned or touched upon the issue of the Bahraini crackdown on demonstrators, the state of Bahraini's crackdown on demonstrators, only nominally, only in past. And this is a very important dimension to this problem, un, how the international community pero, and how the West reacts pero com, de cómo reacciona and not Occidente is consistent. De now to Syria. Syria is at the center of these Syria two factors. Está en el centro, the social, meaning the anthrop anthropological uh, constraint, and en, con the international and The Alawite minority, as you know, took la power mayoría in the 60s and 70s. It maintains its hold on power by uh, Pero, uh, integrating the Christian minority, but also integrating a lot of, or, or the sí. elite in the Sunni, in the Sunni community by the, through the policy of infitah, La política, privatization and liberalization of the economy, liberación política. Giving, um, or giving the elite a lot of incentive Con to sí. stay within the system. Que, que se quedan con el sistema. The regime maintains control el in two other important ways. It's keeping control over the military forces, essentially the army, el ejército, essentially the Republican Guard, la, la and Guardia the top brass y in the army. Los los mandos del ejército. The geopolitical factor now, Syria is Iran's Syria prime es ally Irán in the region. In the support of Hezbollah es and to a letter apoyo, extent, Hamas. Iran does its part to support the Iranian regime, of course. Que apoya al it is easy then to characterize la, part of the Shiite axis that connects Iran to Hezbollah. And it's no secret that the Alawites no es ningún secreto que los have been uh, uh, undergoing a campaign of Shiitization by the clergy que están from Nezhef and southern Lebanon. Whatever the realities of this Shiitization, based on reality, there are perceptions here.
es, and their perceptions es que which can be imagined, but which are very real. The Arawites are unfortunately seen as heretics by a lot of Sunnis. Logically, the identification of the Syrian regime with Shiism, which is the exact opposition of what is happening in Bahrain, should force other Sunni regimes and Saudi Arabia to support the opposition. However, doing so would mean ratifying the legitimacy for the demand of democracy, and this is something a lot of regimes want to stay neutral about and to stay aloof. For its part, Syria does not seem parte, concerned Syria, by an international intervention because eh, NATO is overstretched and because the reticences of China OTAN, and uh, Russia. So it means basically it has a blank Russia, check to repress and kill its citizens, que, which unfortunately it's doing que uh, with a lot of efficiency. Está ocurriendo. The fall of the Basit regime might also be geopolitically very destabilizing since no one knows what will replace it. You know, what would regime come? What new foreign policy would be in Syria? And even countries like Saudi Arabia and Israel, for their different Arabia reasons, Saudita, or, are very tense or, about this insecurity. Or, the economy or, also is in shambles, exhausted, with no possibility of borrowing at the international level, no with also the dependence on Iran, which is itself ex very stretched. Recently, the United Front of Opposition that has begun to emerge los na las Naciones from conferences Unidas in Turkey may, may sketch the beginning of uh, a denouement of the Syrian crisis. But many uncertainties remain. The Pero Syrian regime can count on the repressive apparatus for how long, no one knows. But we know that the Sarai Difa will be very loyal to regime to the regime until the end and we know that the uh, Sunni uh, forces which comprise the army uh, are Sunnis held together by el, el uh, ejército, uh, by a very coherent de una manera muy coherente of, uh, uh, Alawite officers now one word about Syria one has to be prepared to think the unthinkable. We of a generation that is above 35 years old have been conditioned to think that these regimes are invincible because they have no shame in using brute force in spilling blood, in killing their own citizens, whatever number. That in fact the Syrian regime has committed atrocities in Hama and that it's able to do it again. We are conditioned by this myth of the authoritarian state. Mito, we que that are usually above 35 years old encima, feel that way. But believe me, pero créanme, we live in a different world. This regime un mundo may very well and will most probably fall. Y mo, mas, and if it falls, it will be so unexpected. Segu it will be a surprise, but a surprise that we will understand after And in fact, I would say hecho, diría, that a probability for it falling because of this strategic concern or this strategic constraint is that it may necessarily not fall at the hands just of an overthrow by citizens. It actually may fall as a result of a coup within even the Republican Guard that would be patriotic, as we said earlier, and break this self-fulfilling prophecy of the geostrategic constraint. And the first thing that it would do, primero, it would essentially condemn Iran for its role inside the country.